You earn them, but if you don't use them, you could lose them. I'm talking about frequent flyer miles and points, which some of you might even be racking up this upcoming holiday weekend. The passengers are losing out on the freebies more than ever before because of little known rules and regulations out there. There are a lot of them, but tonight I focus on the fine print for you and get the bottom line to make your miles go further. Like planes in the sky, the use of frequent flyer programs today is soaring. The knowledge of their rules? Not very good. Well, that's a bit more grounded. People have to be aware that there are stipulations when you travel. There are rules and regulations, and the airlines are usually pretty strict on them. Right now, at least 100 million people in the U.S. are active in at least one frequent flyer program. In 2012, about 21 million of those people flew for free. Are the airlines pretty clear, though, about stipulating when you can and cannot use those miles or points? No, you think the IRS has a lot of rules? Well, the frequent flyer programs have nothing on them. Randy Peterson's the editor of Inside Flyer magazine. Not all miles actually earn credit for your frequent flyer account. Fine print finds number one. Miles that don't count? That's because many of the airlines today have partner airlines or different fare classes that may not earn you credit. Does it say clearly when you're booking these flights whether it does or does not qualify as points or miles? does not say. Which is why he says you need to check directly with the airline you're booking with or the fine print with that partner airline to see if they will. Another fine print fine to watch for, miles or points that expire. I get letters almost daily from people that have lost their miles. Any idea how many miles actually expired last year? Honestly, about 40 billion miles expired last year from people not paying attention. Some airlines do tell you up front, JetBlue on its site, saying that points don't expire as long as you have activity at least once in a 12-month period. On other airlines, like American, United, and U.S. Air, they expire after 18 months without activity, but that's buried way down in their terms and conditions. And how about Southwest? Their program clearly touts your points don't expire. But then there's the fine print. Points don't expire as long as you have activity every 24 months. Is that basically just a technicality then because then they lose those points? I put that question to a Southwest spokesperson months. who said in a statement, uh, we strive to be as transparent as possible with all of our policies. And finally, there's this find, a new policy quietly enacted by Delta. Most airlines allow you in your will to leave your accumulated miles to someone else. Delta just changed the rules in mid-March to say no more. Now the airline says when you die, you can kiss those miles goodbye. We all think that we own our frequent flyer miles, but if you ever spend any time in the fine print, you'll find out that actually the airlines own the miles. Meaning they can disappear right into thin air. And that's why Peterson also suggests that family members have copies of your account numbers and those passwords just in case they do need to transfer. And one more helpful suggestion. He says that it might be a good idea to redeem those miles as hotel points since typically they have very few problems, if any at all, when it comes to restrictions.